Dallas Clark, 92 overall tight end. Is he worth the coins, guys? We're fixing to find out. We're gonna go through this. Dallas Clark was a fun card. If you guys remember last year's Derek, Dallas Clark's card was stupid good. Do you guys remember that? The catching in the traffic and stuff like that. I had a lot of fun with them last year for sure. Guys, if you have any comments or any questions about this card, please let me know down below. I would recommend getting something to help with his speed, guys. You know, powering him up. Get some get some uh, spurner on him, brawler on him. His speed is quite the issue for linebackers to be able to keep up with him right now. There's quite a few other wideers, I mean tight ends are a little bit faster than that. Um, you do see some of his abilities here. I do go through these and X Factor, so you can see these before you buy the card. That's one reason you watch the review, right? He's being 6'3 and a spectacular catch at 89, guys. I didn't notice it. It did not help me. Um, you're going to see in the gameplay here. I would say it's fake news. To be honest, I was not impressed. I didn't think it worked. Um, you can get over to 90 threshold and maybe get a better result. But for me, I always review my card stock so you guys know what to put on them later, right? Starting off, Dallas Clark here. His fumbles is an A, guys. I didn't have any fumble issues with him. No matter all the hit sticks he got. Guys, if this video gets 100 likes by November 11th, 4 p.m., I will give him away on stream November 12th on Twitch. So follow on Twitter to know when I'll go live and follow on Twitch to be entered. You gotta be there to win. Then people in the Twitch stream that's live during the drawing will be entered. I will do a random generator. Whoever's name generates all that will be the winner, but only people present will be entered on the Twitch giveaway. His route running is B plus, guys. I felt like this is why he did the best. You see the user tries to keep up with him there. He does cut, undercut him. Right here is going to be the spec catch I was talking about, guys. I had zero success on spec catches with him, just so you know. Red zone is going to be a B because you can't spec catch with him in the red zone. You can't high point and obviously in the red zone, you're going to be looking for that. As you see his speed here, guys, people are keeping him, especially D-backs and stuff. Um, he's going to be a slant across the middle guy to, with good catch in traffic, but he, if he gets blasted, he's going to drop a lot. He's not going to be 100%. He's going for 220k right now, guys, so I am going to overall B. There are some better values out there. Shannon Sharp played better for me. As always, guys, the message is help others for no reason, guys. You don't know what other people are going for. Give good energy. We have enough bad energy in the world. I'll see you next one, guys. Thank you for all the likes and all support.